Well, Harvest Plus is a Washington, D.C.-based nonprofit that uses conventional plant breeding practices to improve the nutritional values of crops and is now one of eight semifinalists in a global contest to win a $100 million grant. Joining us live from our Washington, D.C. News Bureau is Harvest Plus CEO Beverly Postma. Beverly, thank you for joining us today. We appreciate your time. Good afternoon, Janet. Thank you so much. Now, for those who may not be familiar, can you first of all give us an overview of how Harvest Plus got started and, of course, what's the mission? Yes, well, Harvest Plus uh, dates back to an idea 25 years ago, actually. This was an idea that we can tackle things like hidden hunger, mal parts of malnutrition around the world, by actually using agriculture technology. So since then, the idea has involved so much agricultural research here in America, and we're now taking that, that technology and we're placing it into the hands of farmers in Africa, in Asia, and they're able to grow these crops that are now have higher levels of nutrition. And the program itself has been operating for 13 years here in America. And how did you all get involved with the 100 and Change competition? Well, this is super exciting. Uh, we were entering the competition with 1,900 other applicants wow. on the hope that we could win this $100 million to really take the program to scale and save many, many more lives. And we found out just two weeks ago that we've been shortlisted to the final eight. So we headed off to Chicago, we met the MacArthur Foundation team, and we're now working with the other amazing semi-finalists to, to get across the final line. What an accomplishment, congratulations. So how exactly does the competition work? Well, the competition is in three stages. So first of all, they gathered applicants from all over the world, um, programs that could spend $100 million to take an innovation to solve a big world problem. And they whittled it down through a panel of 40 independent judges to these eight amazing programs. And now the eight of us have to show our scaling plans, we have to show effectiveness, and we have to prove that our proposal is the one that can have the biggest impact using this amazing grant. And Beverly, so winning the competition comes with that $100 million prize money. First of all, what would that mean and how would the dollars be used? Oh, I tell you, I've just come back from touring some of our communities that we're working with in, in Africa and in Asia. And I tell you, farmers are farmers everywhere. Mm -hmm. I have the same conversations with farmers in Rwanda as I do with farmers in America and farmers in the UK, my, my home country. They talk about the weather, they talk about the cost of inputs, and they talk about who's going to be elected to the Farmers Association. The difference is the lives that we're touching in Africa, they, they really have such basic uh, support for, for growing their crops. They're facing very, very tough conditions. And they're facing micronutrient malnutrition. Their children are not getting enough vitamins and minerals because they're living on very basic crops, on orange sweet potato, on, on corn. And they don't have access to uh, fruits and vegetables in their diets. What these crops do is give them those micronutrients. They give them the vitamin A, like this orange maize. So we're developing an orange version of vitamin A. This has been developed right here in the United States. And we're able to give children and families up to 100% of their vitamin A requirement just by adding the nutrient into their everyday food. So we can get to, we hope, 1 billion people by 2030 and really make an impact on malnutrition. Well, Beverly, thank you so much for joining us, and we certainly wish you the best of luck and keep us posted on the progress. Again, Harvest Plus CEO Beverly Postma joining us from our Washington, D.C. News Bureau.